Hi, this is Mr. Capert. This video is for the worksheet Problem Solving in Excel. Now, Excel is used in all sorts of professions. This is not just used in engineering, so don't think that you're going to just learn this for this class, and if you don't want to be an engineer, you'll never see it again. Google Spreadsheets is actually based on Excel. Excel is more powerful, though. So if you learn how to use Excel, that's, that's much more important than using Google Spreadsheet. More powerful, it can graph things. It's an important skill to have, whether you own your own business, you're a receptionist, you're an engineer, you do your own taxes, you keep track of your finances. There's all sorts of things you can do with this program. You can create your own graphs, which is much easier than graphing by hand. So it's an important skill to learn. I'm going to go through the example problem here. So I've given you force, and then I want you to find the mass of the object. Now, by hand, you would have to do each one of these, one at a time, 10 of these. The reason why you want to use Excel is because it's much quicker. You could do a thousand, a million of these problems all at one time by using coding. I'm going to show you how to code. So the first step is to enter all this data into Excel spreadsheet. So first open Excel up. You want to do a blank workbook and you want to start typing all of this data into it. Do not use Google Spreadsheet. That is an okay pro program, but it's not as powerful as this one. You can merge cells in here virgin center you can also do borders all borders you can do shading you can bold things just like you can in word so you can do this in a different fashion if you want to make it a different color it doesn't have to be this exact color put your headings and then start entering your numbers. I'm gonna skip here ahead because you should be able to get the hang of this or maybe I'm not going to. I guess I can't pause this program right now. Okay, I'm back. I put all my data in here. You can format this just like you can in Microsoft Word. You can center these, you can bold them. There's a lot of different things you can use uh, do with this program. So now this is where Excel gets really useful. We're going to use it to solve all 10 of these problems within seconds. And in the future, maybe you've got 100 problems you need to solve. So you always want to do the first problem by hand. How would you find the mass if you're given the, a weight of 13 newtons? You use this equation force equals mass times gravity. Using algebra, you need to find mass. So, in order to do that, divide both sides by g, by acceleration due to gravity, and you end up with the equation here to find our mass. Force divided by gravity. I did this extra step here to show you that gravity is a constant, hopefully you learned that in physics, 9.81 meters per second squared. So all you have to do is take that weight, 13, divided by 9.81, and you get 1.325. So this is a good check for when you use Excel. If you get one problem wrong in Excel, everything else is wrong. So you need to always do a check. Also, this is going to be important because I'm now going to use this equation that I got. So this is key right here. This is what we're looking at. So the mass. Once again, we're looking at this here. Your mass must put the equal sign. Your mass is equal to the force. This is the force, right? This was the 13 that I used. See? So your mass is equal to the force. Notice I punched it in there. And then you take that divided by 9.81. Enter. Do not, when you do this, don't put 13 here. This is a code. 
and it will change as you drag this down and it will replace the next problem with 28 and the next one with 51 and the next one with 117. So you can click on this, make sure you get the farthest right corner. And what this does, this click and drag, it solves the rest of them. Do a check here. All right, cool. Must have done this right. That's why I did this check. And notice this is coded. So instead of saying 13, it says B6. This is B6. All right. Look at this one. Look how it shift. B7. That's B7 right here, divided by 9.81. I've got a couple problems for you to do on your own here. Do the same thing. You want to first solve this first problem. Solve for acceleration. Show the equations. You need to show the equation because you're then going to code that into Excel. Here, solve for force. And I give you the equation for that, where work equals force times distance. So make sure you're using Excel. First step is put all your data in. Next step, second step is solve one example problem like I did here. And then your third step is to go back and input that equation in here. Hope this video helps. If you need any more help, please see me. Thank you.